Oh, all right. All right. Guys, I'm a man of my word. When I say something, I mean it. And I definitely meant that I was going to begin this. So here it is. Episode number one, success tips. Let's get it. Okay. Number one success tip off the rip. Learn to manage your social media. Social media is a very beneficial thing and we can use it for a various amount of reasons. You can get news. I do part-time trading, so sometimes I can get news off Twitter. What's the hottest news? People are talking about things, you know? But it can be a downfall if you don't know how to control your social media or if you don't know how to control yourself. So one good thing that is good to know off the rip, so I'm a psych major, right? I like to study. I like, I like psychology in general. And like, I like it, like it. So I'll dive deep into it. And it's proven actually that social media and how attached you are to your social media actually affects neurotransmitters in your brain, which ultimately affect the way that you feel, behave, and your emotions have a part in, do so, in doing so. Say so you wake up in the morning, right? What's the first thing that you do? Let me, let me check my Snapchat. I'm gonna check my YouTube. Oh my, that's what you do for 45 minutes to about an hour until you decide to wake up. I'm not wrong, tell me I'm not wrong. We, we do it, right? So learn to stop that, learn to kind of put a manage on it, right? So that you can get up in the morning, get your day started, get you some coffee, get you something going so that you can get your work done. You'd be surprised what you can do in those 45 minutes to two hours that you waste in bed. Part two of this, when you do post, when you do anything on social media, it's a good idea, good suggestion to silence your notifications perhaps so that you don't receive this clout from your posts so that you're not tempted into checking your phone consistently. I know that I've been victim of it. Sometimes I get on Instagram, I post something and I see such and such liked it. Well, it's only one like, right? But you still go on it and you check it or look and you're like, oh, huh. how much time is that wasted? You say, oh, a few minutes, da, 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 da. But keep in mind, I stress outworking people. You won't outwork many people if you're consistently wasting time because I promise you there's many other people that are not wasting time and they're very on it. One minute is the difference between you and the other guy or the other girl. One minute, two minutes, that's what it comes down to. How bad do you want it? Ask yourself, is it worth staying in bed? for 45 minutes? I'll leave you with that question to answer yourselves. All right, guys, have a good day.